afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. You're live on SABC3 with me, Bonnie Booley. With winter officially underway, we kick off the weekend with two live performances on one show to warm your soul. Now, when it comes to jazz music, the saxophone has to be the sexiest instrument out there. And today we're joined by one of the best. John Vino Prince started playing the sax when he was 15 years old. And over his long career, he's performed on almost every continent and shared the stage with the likes of Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, Tevin Campbell, and David Kramer. From smooth jazz to deep house, head over to our social media platforms and let us know what's your favorite music genre to jam to over the weekend. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Now our first guest, formed half of South Africa's finest house music duo to date. Jonathan Hamilton, better known as Zion, was born in America and moved to South Africa in the early 2000s. It was here that he co-founded Liquid Deep in 2007, which went on to become one of our most successful music exports. After years of touring the world, Zion embarked on a solo career and launched his debut album, Audio Alchemy, that featured the likes of Dumi from Volume, Garabo and Kulijana. But who could forget the song that dominated clubs, parties and generally all radio stations in 2010 alone. Smooth man himself joining us live in the loft. It's Zion. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. That's good. That's good. I'm That's such good. a fan. I'm actually having to like fan myself to just calm down. You're a fan who has to fan yourself. <laughs> That's a lot of fanning. It's a lot of fanning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's really good to be here, man. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Lovely to have you here. Thank you. So it's been a six year journey with Liquid Deep, just yeah. topping the charts, picking yeah. up those awards. Yeah. Tell us about the journey. The journey was awesome, you know. Um, we never take it for granted. Um, I was just with Razor um, two weeks ago with him and his wife, and we were just reminiscing about those times. Um, I mean, just through music, we got to travel a lot of the continent, a lot of the world. You know, um, you know, we touched a lot of other people's lives. Yeah. You know, um, I think we were able to inspire certain musicians as well. Yeah. Um, I don't take any of that time for granted. You know, at all. I mean, all. when your sound came about, it was mm. so poignant. The timing was perfect. Everything mm. about it was just so perfect. Did mm. you guys really feel like you were onto something when you started out? Not at the time, and I think that's I think that's what was important. I think if we knew what we were doing, we might have got a little bit too arrogant Ahead or maybe too yourself. cocky about it, you know? Uh. I think it was homegrown. Um, we were really doing it from the heart. So we were caught by surprise when people took to it the way that it was. So that whole time, we were really just like in awe, like, wow, you know? Is this really happening? Is this really happening? Yeah. You know? We were just two DJs at first getting paid, you know, food playing at restaurants, yeah. that's how we started out. Really? Know? Yeah. You, know, you were earning food. Food and drinks <laughs> and 200 rand, you know, for one night, you know, wow. playing for like six hours, you know, wow. DJing, so, yeah. So the story usually goes the other way around. Mm. Uh, you, people are born South African and then they travel <laughs> yeah. to the States to go and yeah. make it big. And uh, you did it the other way around. You yeah. returned to the motherland <laughs> <laughs> in the early 2000s. Yeah. What was that like? Um, wow, the first time I came, I don't know, I took everything all in. Like, I, I, I wasn't nervous, I took everything all in. I tried to experience as much as I could. Luckily, I got to play with a lady named Swazi Tlamini. Yeah. Um, she's a, a great jazz mu musician, but also, she, I mean, she's into gospel now as well, does well. At the time, I was playing keys for her. So we got to travel around, and that's how I got to see the country mm. a lot. In the background, you know, I had a big afro playing keys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Don't, don't <laughs> now, it can't happen now. It's not going to work out. <laughs> but I got to see a lot of the country. I got uh -huh. to meet a lot of great people. Um, 
and I did not expect, imagine me, I did not expect to come to an unfamiliar place yeah. and then have things go so well for happen you, for so me quickly. that may not have happened, in, you know, anywhere else, you know? That's incredible. It just shows sometimes you have to be put, you just have to follow your intuition and let things happen. Yeah, you know, don't which try then to. leads me to the next question. Mm. What made you come back? And did you come back with the intention of starting this career? In no, it wasn't fully my, my intent was not to become what things became. My intent was just to do what I love. You know, if I can just make a little bit that I can just yeah. doing what I love, then that's fine, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't take that for granted, being in control of my time, being able to create when I want yeah. to, you know. I don't take it for granted. A lot of people do not have that opportunity, and I know Absolutely. that it's very, very precious, you know. So me, I try to do it every day. I try to put my best foot forward every day that I, that I can because it's that precious to me. It's that important yeah. to me, you yeah. know. Mm. Um, Zion, how did that name come about? Oh, man. Uh, okay, so cliche, I don't know. Sorry if, uh, for maybe non-religious viewers, but... Uh, it came from a verse, a Bible verse. Mm -hmm. So uh, people try to box Jesus in a corner by asking him when heaven will come. So he told them it doesn't come with your careful observation. It starts in your heart, in you first. So for me, when, when I hear that word, heaven, Zion represents heaven. So it's just a, re a reminder of where I want to be now before the actual heaven comes, if, that, if that's what you believe in. Wow. It's just a reminder. You are what you called. You know, you become what you are called. So words have power. They call it spelling for a reason. Speaking of words having power, that was absolutely profound, by mm. the way. I saw you reading upstairs. Yes. Um, I sneaked past you and yes. I thought I'd, I'll let you carry on leading yeah. to your reading. Um, and then a question came to mind about how you create. What's your creative process and what, what kind of stuff do you write about and why? All right, my creative process... If you, if you, uh, my fans, uh, or, or, I, I don't, I don't oh, like saying that. What were you reading, by the way? Sorry, what was I reading? Carry on. Um, um, man, the, the bad thing is I forget the name of the title. Someone put me on to, 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 to a new author, to a new book and a new author. So I actually need to actually check the title again. But it's actually a really, really brilliant book. But they brought me four books. It was Eckhart Tolle and they're like, no one has ever bought me like. Eckhart Tolle. Yeah, and it, it means the they right know path. what type of person I am. You know? You're on the right path yeah, exactly. with Eckhart. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Not that you needed my <laughs> affirmation. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I'll take right it, though. I'll take it. I'll okay, take it. Okay, okay. Mm, with open arms. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, the creative process, I, I try not to think too much about it, eh? You just go in, you create, you, 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 you download if you think too much, you, you close. You can't, you can't get mm. what needs to come, you know? You're, 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 you're grasping intangible things and making it tangible, you know? So the only way to do that is just to be open and just let the process be, you know? My followers on Instagram, uh, will, they, they know. Like, I, I'm, I post myself in studio every day, every single day on my stories. Yeah. So they get to see the process that I go through, especially right now. I'm trying to open up and show people, like, who I am, you know, let's let's reintroduce ourselves, you know, if we need to. Yeah. Mm. I, it sounds like it's really important for you to make the unseen seen. And I, and I yeah. definitely think you managed to do that in your music. Yeah, I think I think the most valuable things are the unseen ones. Yes. You know, yes. the things that we can't touch, you know. Yeah. Those are the things that are most valuable. Those are the things that last ideas. We can't touch ideas, but they stay around. And so much they stay around, other people keep those ideas going. That's yes. how powerful those intangible things yeah. are. The yeah. tangible things, they go away, they fly do. by they night. They pass away, you know? yeah, yeah. Mm. Just when we thought we couldn't love you more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. But you're not going away, you're going to perform for us later. I'm definitely we're here. We're really blessed to have you. Thank you so much. Awesome. So we'll be back on the couch with more from Zion after the break. Plus, we're in the kitchen with Chef Aya, and he's making one of the most unique cultural fusions you've heard of, Burbo Sushi.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. We're on the couch with Zion of Liquid Deep fame. So you then transitioned to your solo album. Yes. Um, your first one was Audio Alchemy. Yes. And you collaborated with a few amazing artists mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. How did you find your way to them, or how did you guys find each other? Man, um, there are people that I, that I looked up to within the industry. So Notende was a dream to She's work with. She's amazing. And she gave me, I think, I think she, no, she outshined me on my track. Like, the last time is probably one of my, my favorite songs that I've ever made, and I, I'm glad that she was a part of it. Um, but I just reached out. Like, I reached out to Thumi, and he was down, you know? Yeah. I just asked people, and they were cool. I reached out to my E, he was cool. I think because um, I try to make people comfortable. I try to have my idea together before I give it to them so that they're comfortable and able to give me what they need, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um... It wasn't really that tough to get them on board. And yeah. I appreciate it. I, man, I appreciate them being on board. For the first album, the guys that I got on the first album, yeah, it's kind of unheard of, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. just good synergy. Huh? Yeah, which is the most important. Like, yeah. I don't like to, um, I don't necessarily just collaborate with, like, anyone. Me, I'm, I, I think I'm feeling and relationship-based. I got to get to kind of understand you a little bit, vibe with you a little bit before I yeah. want to work with you. Because yeah. we may not have the same philosophies or yeah. our, 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 our messages may not be similar, you know? Yeah. I don't want to get caught up in conflicting messages, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So we touched a little bit um, on fame during the break. Oh, yeah. And uh, you look to me like a very grounded human being who yeah. is, uh, is very aware of the spaces that you yeah. pour yourself out into. Mm. Um, how have you navigated the whole fame space? Well, like I was saying to you, like in the beginning, it was a culture shock. A culture shock. Um, there's no school. There's no school for fame. You can't be taught how to m maneuver through uh, a restaurant or the mall and try to shop, but you can't because you, can't, yeah. you have to, you know, make other people happy. You know, there's a certain point where you are other people's property if you're outside uh, of your house. You know, that's how it works. Yeah. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think it just got to a point where I, I realized instead of uh, retreating from it, it's here for a reason. They could not be talking to me at all. <laughs> there could be no one coming to me at all. Absolutely. So, so rather, rather, instead of running from it, now I run toward it. So when people come, yeah. my hand is out. I'm smiling because they could make my day or I could make theirs, you know. Yeah. Um, but more important than that, just the mere fact that they're listening, you know, that just helps what yeah. I'm doing, you yeah. know. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's also a very tender balance, right? To be able yeah. to not seek after it, but have a hope, open yeah. hand when yeah. it comes, to see, welcome see, it when that's, it comes. That's the main thing, to not seek for it. Mm -hmm. I think once you start to seek for it, once it's gone, what do you have? Like, what, what, Who what, are I, you? what identity do you have? Yeah. Your identity goes with the fame, you know? Or, or, or not even fame, it, it could be a material thing, whatever, you know. Yeah. We put ourselves into outside things in, instead of into us, you know. So, yeah. Wow. Fame is an interesting thing. It is, it is. I could talk mm. all day about Yeah, it. yeah, but it's good and bad. It's good and bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, it's good and bad. I wouldn't be here if, if, if the concept wasn't around, you know. Yes, so yes. It's good and bad. Yeah. yeah. So you're also Zion, the producer. You also mm. host um, songwriting workshops. Yeah. If I were at your songwriting workshop and I had to ask you for the three basic tenets of songwriting, what would you say they were? Okay. Uh, first, understand your message. You have to know your your personal message, uh, like your, your, life, your life model, your life message, because that's going to affect what you're going to talk about, you know, in your music. Um, listen to the other greats, the other great writers, you know, to, you know, sharpen your sword. Mm -hmm. um, don't, don't be too much in an echo chamber, you know. Um, imitation sometimes is, is good, you know, to, to, uh, to help you expand. So listen to other great writers. And the third, uh, be authentic. Authent authenticity is key, you know? So talk about, know your message and talk about your story. You know, talk yeah. about your authentic story. That's what people want to know, you know? Yeah. People want to hear that. They've heard everybody else's, who are you? You know, so yeah, that's yeah, what that, I would tell people. That definitely resonates. As yeah. an author myself, I think that 
that's um, that's a very key mm. three things to remember. Mm. So your your second solo album is due in the spring of 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And are you what what can your your lovers of your music expect? Is it something <laughs> new? Is it more of uh, the same? Are you exploring I'll say to, I'll any new avenues? Uh, the, the people who are close to it, I'll say is the people who know me. I'll say it's a continuation. It's a continuation of 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 what I've just been doing, you know? Yeah. So, um, but it's definitely matured. I won't, I won't say the sound has really changed, but it's just a continuation, you know? I'm just in a, I don't know, I'm, I feel like I'm in a good space. I feel like I'm in a, a nice space right now. Yeah. I'm really yeah. enjoying life right now, you know? Absolutely. And experiencing, you know, every opportunity that I can, you know, yeah. so. You do look like you're enjoying life. <laughs> yeah. And I guess also that the trick is to keep a continuum going. That's also yeah. a tender balance to yeah. be able to, Give people what they fell in love for you with or for, you um, while still satisfying your own creative desires. What a dope combo! It's like, but then we're gonna finish, and then the combo's gonna be done. You know, it's, I, I know. don't know. What a dope combo! <laughs> but you're not going anywhere. Mm. We're gonna definitely enjoy nice your one. music in a little while. Nice one. So make sure you stay tuned for that live performance by Zion at the end of the show. Talk of putting on a performance. Joburg really stepped up to the plate at the Presenter Search auditions on last night's episode. So coming up next week, Thursday is the call background where the lucky contestants got to face me and the rest of the main judging panel. All I can say is that Joburg had some serious talent. Join us this Thursday night at 7.30 with Presenter Search on 3 and more entertainment Great from the Joburg auditions. Dance. DJ Fresh selects six lucky hopefuls who receive a VIP audition experience. Plus, it's time for callbacks. Who will impress the main judges and make it through to the mentor masterclasses? Catch all the action this Thursday night at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Now, the art of sushi dates back more than a thousand years ago, and it's one of the bedrocks of Japanese food culture. When it comes to South African food culture, nothing beats a plate of bap and vox with chakalaka rice. Yeah, yeah, can yeah. I get an amen? Okay, now for, for what I can say, I can only assume is that the first time on live TV, we're combining these two traditions and merging them into one epic fusion feast. And Chef I is about to show us how, but you want, you want to reiterate that it's actually inspired by sushi and then it's not a chakalaka and provo sushi, otherwise we'd be eating raw. Exactly, yeah, provo, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, um, the reason why I came up with this was just sitting at home thinking, how can I play with pop? How can I make it interesting? And yeah. I came up with this. And this dish is like pop and voice that we eat all the time. And it's very nice. And how I present it is going to look awesome. This is my comfort food, by the way. Really? Yeah, like when I've had a tough week and I just feel like crying, this is what I make. <laughs> oh, let's, um, can you just um, stare that for me a bit? So this is the pop okay. that I cooked earlier on. It's uh -huh. nice and soft. Make sure that your pop, it's not too stir hard. It. Yes, yes. And yeah, then I'm it's quite fine. Yeah. And then I'm using a foil for it to roll it. I'll just... Nice. Brush my foil I see some herbs off. in here. What did you put so in here? So I added the um, Italian parsley just to give it a nice green color instead of it being plain. Yeah. And also you don't get so much flavor in the parsley just for the color. So I I'm going to brush my foil with like oil and then you can just help me dish that pop on top of this foil. Okay. How much do you want? Not much, huh? As, as much as you oh, can as much get. As me. I and can. Then let me just use oh, this. Oh, we're going to spread this. it all over yes, the foil. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But try to keep it close to the side so that it's okay. going to be easier. I'll just use this. This is easier. Yeah. Okay. How'd you come up with this idea? Is this a Chef I original? Funny enough, when I was on Top Chef, um, yeah. I did one of these dishes and I was so scared. I mean, I was, at, I was there for like a month and I kind of missed my dad and I kind of missing cooking home food. Yeah. So the challenge that we had was just to cook whatever we want to cook with whatever we had in the kitchen and I made this. I think that's enough. You missed your dad? Yeah, Is I your dad, dad. Uh, uh, handy in the kitchen? Not really, but with fixing cars and whatever goes wrong in the house, yes. Wow. So this is how you do this and you must have a bowl of water so that you can just you can press your pot down. Smooth it down, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's such an easy, easy process. I've once been in a sushi class, so I kind of know what you're trying to get at right now, what you're trying to achieve, so. So go with the chakalaka. How often do you make chakalaka? A lot. Really? I love do you chakalaka. Have, do you have a specific way that you make yours? Um, lots of veggies, yeah. lots of chili, and uh, I, I, I let it simmer. I let okay. it cook slowly. And then my other rule is that I don't use canned chakalaka ever. <laughs> 
All right, so this is the this is where the rolling comes. <laughs> I mean, there's oil already at the bottom, so okay. you just wanna okay. push it over. So just to reinforce what we've done, we've we flattened the bup, we've put some chakalaka in the middle, and we placed our vase right in the middle. Okay, and just a quick reminder: the keyword for this recipe is eat. Um, SMS that keyword to double three six five zero. There you'll get the full recipe and the list of ingredients. And the trick with this is after rolling it, you just keep it aside for like 10 to 15 minutes so that it oh, sets. So that it sets. Yes. So luckily I already have one that I've done earlier on and uh -huh, it's already set. Because we're doing it for TV. Yes. <laughs> so oh, look wow, how look beautiful this looks. That is beautiful. You can also have it like a hot dog if you want to or, you know what I mean, a bunny yeah, yeah. in a way. <laughs> so let's just grab a knife quickly uh -huh. and slice it. It does look so smooth. That's some well-behaved bup. It went to varsity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So also, as you know, in a lot of sushis, you get the mayo that they make, that, they, that, that um, adds a bit of tang in the sushi. Yes. And then with this one, I had an onion puree made. So this is an onion puree is made with um, onions, some butter, and then I just added a touch of star anise just to give it that nice fragrance wow, in it. Wow, onion and butter. Yes. I have to taste yeah. this. Tastes amazing. I have to taste it. Sounds incredible because I'm just such an onion fan as well. Mmm, mm, this is lovely. Can you taste the star anise? Did you blend it? Yes, you blitz it just to get it smooth and also mm. all the flavors to bind in mm. together. I can taste that star anise coming through. And what are these? Just sesame seeds, sesame like seeds, sesame seeds. Yes. I mean, they add no flavor, oh, but look the color. Oh, look at that sesame seed. And then voila. They move. And then you want to grab one. <laughs> and I, I, I have a finished product over here. What do you well, think of that? I think it looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to taste it because this, I think, is the star of the show for yeah. me. <laughs> so if you'd like to make these unique burovos and chakalaka sushi rolls at home, then simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650 to get the recipe and link sent directly to your phone. Now, we said at the top of the show that there are two performers lined up for today and after the break, we meet our second artist, renowned saxophone player Don Vino Prince. Head over to our social media platforms and let us know what you're thinking, what's on your mind, Mind. What's your favorite music genre to jam to over the weekend? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page.
Clover Classic Custard. The creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3. Now, Clover Classic Custard brings you that creamy taste. It conjures up nostalgia and takes you back to those good old times. And yesterday we spoke about fashion classics and timeless um, fashion. Today we're reflecting on the sweet, soulful sounds of jazz music. And speaking of which, we're joined by a legendary saxophonist who started his journey at the tender age of 15, collaborating with artists locally as well as internationally. Don Vino Prince is here to share his amazing journey with us. But first, he put performs a cover by Tevin Campbell, Can We Talk? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's such a warm, fuzzy feeling laugh today. Definitely a musical Friday. Thank you so much, Don. Sit wow. down. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to treat you to some custard, some classic Fantastic. clover custard. Fantastic. Um, are you a dessert guy? I am. I am. I love my dessert. Do you and, particularly uh, like custard? Beautiful, my wife okay, I'm glad. makes it all the time. She makes it all the time. All the time. <laughs> wow, that was absolutely beautiful. What have been the highlights of your career? I mean, you've traveled well, all over the world, you've played with some of the greats, yeah. yeah. Look, uh, there's a couple of highlights in my career, you know, I've, I've played with Jonathan Butler, yes. Ladysmith Black Mombazo, I mean, come on. 
and then Kirk Whalen. But I think the highlight for me was when I released my first music video. You know, I, Why when, is I that? when I was a kid, I used to tell myself one day I'm gonna have a music video. <laughs> I know that sounds, you know, but I just told myself I want a music video one day, and one day is gonna play on TV and all that stuff. And it came to fruition, you know. So that's that's my highlight, you know. That's incredible. Yeah. But I think the <laughs> defining you've, you've surpassed that dream definitely. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think I think uh, the defining moment in my career was when I went full time into music. You know, I used to work with ShopRite. <laughs> I was really? A, I was a packer. And what drew you, you know? to the smooth sounds of the saxophone? I I joined the Christmas choirs when I was 15 years old, and uh, when the guys who used to usually take a break in the rehearsals, I would pick up one guy's saxophone and just fiddle with it, you know, and, uh, and so in essence, I taught myself how to play the saxophone. Self-taught. Self-taught, self-taught. How long yeah. did that take before you first picked it up to actually sounding like, you know what, I can actually play for people and I'm really good right. at this? That, 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 that took a while, though. That took a while, I, That took huh? a while, that took a while. It took me a couple of months to kind of play a melody, you know, a, a proper melody. But it took me years to kind of master the instruments, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, you've definitely had some huge career highlights. But what is the secret to you maintaining your success? Ooh. I think, I think a huge deal has to play, has to, to, to be my family, you know, my wife and the kids, who they keep me grounded. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and just the people who support me over the years, you know, I, I think they play a huge role in me maintaining who I am as an individual and as a musician. Yeah. So uh, I'm really grateful to a lot of people who, you know, play a huge part in yeah, my career. That's yeah, that's amazing. This loft is just filled with grounded musicians today. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, your repertoire includes jazz, gospel, yeah. just the classics. What about your music keeps it just classically nostalgic, do you think? I think nostalgia is beautiful. It is, you know? yeah. it, it, it is so it's beautiful. And I think it's, in essence, it plays a huge part in who we are. And so when you hear that, that one classic song, you know, that just transports you back in time and to that moment, you know. Mm. I mean, we all have that, have that one we song. We all have moments. That when you that, hear yeah. it, all yeah. those memories and feelings comes flooding back, you know. Um, and I think uh, that's one of the reasons why these um, nostalgic kind of tunes and songs and genres will never go out of style. I yeah. Think. yeah, yeah. Well, what are, what are some of your um, dreams still that you still, a bucket, I call it the career bucket list. Sure. Mm. I want to travel with my own band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've just recently started as a solo artist, you know. So I've played in a lot of bands. I've been a backing musician for a long time, you know. Um, and I've just recently decided to go, to go solo. So my dream is to really get my music all over the world, you know. To yeah. travel all over the world with my own band, my own music, my own sound. That's my dream. Well, I don't doubt yeah. that that's going to happen. I pray it's good. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, it just goes to show that keeping it classic with the soothing sounds of music will never go out of style. Mm. And we've still got a second live performance coming up at the end of the show by renowned house producer Zion. After the break, it's time for Online Express as we look back on the week that was the biggest stories to trend on social media this week.
It's the food lover's dream escape to Rome. Return from just 6,700 Rand with Travel Start's gourmet Italian getaway. Summon the Eternal City is your chance to dine out on the town from breakfast espresso to linguini, fettuccine, or pesche al forno, and if there's room, maybe a torta de cioccolato. Go all out Italian with Rome return flights from just 6,700 Rand for travel during September and October 2018. Just another amazing way to enjoy hassle free, budget friendly getaways with travelstart.co.za. Subject to availability, T's and C's apply. Welcome back on Afternoon Express. As promised before the break, it's time for Online Express, where we take a look at back at the internet and what was happening and what was trending on social media. And one of them is that Sia Colisi has just been announced captain. The Archbishop Desmond Tutu was elated with the announcement, as seen by his statement. The appointment of Sia Colisi to lead the Springbok rugby team against England is a wonderful achievement that makes us walk very tall. It speaks to the hope we felt 24 years ago that we were developing a special society in which the cream would rise to the top regardless of color or class. We couldn't agree more with Bishop Tutu. Congrats to Sia on this huge feat. He's also such an incredible guy. Have you mm. guys, have you met um, Sia? Uh, I, I haven't met Sia, but um, when I saw the article and the first thing that popped to my mind was like, dude, Black child, now it's your time. Yeah. And I was so inspired by it. And it also like forces us to push harder. You know, it forces you to do, to really, really, really when you're hungry, go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's such an inspiration. Absolutely. Yeah. He said it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think what really stood out for me is that you you, you don't have to be the guy who's chasing the fame no. or who's got the, all the antics. You just have to play with heart and be just yourself, be you authentically. Mm. And he's possibly one of the most authentic um, know, right. people I've mm. met. Yeah, definitely. Um, witnessing the first black captain for the national rugby side is incredible. We hope Sia's captaincy won't be limited to just this test. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Congrats. Now, we normally not only focus on South African stories on Online Express, but we just could not go past this story as it really captured our hearts. All I can say is that that Spider-Man makes an appearance in Paris and he is African. Mm. What do you think of that? Wow, mm. what a story. I mean, yeah. you were just saying, please just elaborate. Yeah, so apparently, apparently the child dropped from the sixth floor and then the child caught themselves, right? And then you have Spider-Man who now climbs up like that. Still had to make a, a, a climb up. right up. I mean, from I'm still upset with the guy who was closer. Next to him. And, and all he had to do was step over and grab and the And as you can see on the video, it's like he's reaching for the kid. Like, yes. I mean, I think he did touch the kid at some point, but I don't know why he didn't pull the kid up. You know, yeah. it was one of those, it was a miracle. What happened to the guy? They gave him citizenship, right? Yes, they did. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm about to fill you in on that shortly. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting for me is a four-year-old baby mm -hmm. holding on mm -hmm. for that long with those teeny winny little hands uh, had my, to my, ha have a will to survive. But watching that video, my heart I mean, as an adult as well, if I, was, if I had to be the one falling down, I don't think I would have thought of grabbing onto to something, you know on, what I mean? On and down. you're four, mm -hmm. you're four years yeah. old and you're not that strong to like, Carry yourself exactly. and then hold the And hold like, your yeah. whole weight up. There's yeah. something deeper that happened there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little I, child caught themselves like I that. Know, I definitely deeper. agree. Now, the story mm. is quite amazing. 22-year-old Malian migrant Mamadou Gassama became a global sensation after his, this video clip of him went viral. Now, he scaled up four stories of an apartment building in an impressive 30 seconds to save the dangling four-year-old. By deciding to save that child, he could have fallen, hurt himself, or mm. worse, have gotten deported. Yes. Now, when you're in a country illegally, as he was, you really don't want to attract any attention mm. to yourself, right? But he did not think twice and has been declared a hero by everyone, including the president of France, who's given the young hero citizenship. 
as mm. you mentioned. Now, the president of Mali invited him to return to his home country, promising him a place in the country's army. Wow. An offer he politely declined. Oh, okay. Good choice. Smart. Yeah. Very smart. Smart Today, man. Yeah, let's smart. not go too far. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't yeah. going to go with it as well. I wasn't going to agree. I mean, at the same time, you have to think about your future. Yeah. I mean, you know the background for you, where he's coming from. He knows and where he comes exactly. from. Exactly. So and, and we know what um, African armies go through. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, not go too far. Come on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ghana tweeted, after rejecting the Malian president's offer, the African Spider-Man has stopped started work with the fire department in Paris that is so cute considering that his childhood dream was to become a firefighter and since this was child protection week I have one question where were the child's parents when all of this happened the child's lives with the father the child lives with the father apparently and um, the mother lives in Reunion Island and when all of this was happening the father was out wait for it wait for it <laughs> I'm trying he, not to laugh. He was playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Pokemon Go? He was playing Pokemon Go. The child is almost that, died is from that Pokemon really Go. No, that's really a thing. Yeah. And that's really what he was doing. And he got distracted. And then what happened to you when Pokemon you go to the house? Pokemon Go, my bro. Oh, when he like stood outside and saw what was happening Exactly, outside, and I think I mean... the child actually subsequently got taken away from him. <laughs> and another thing we do not know is how to feel about Robbie Malinga's son taking over his verified Instagram account. Okay, I, I feel very strongly about it, along with many other people in the country. Now, he's been posting videos online that have triggered a lot of people. Check this out. What's up? If you don't know me now, you know me. It's Toby Jr., a.k.a. Rob Melly. I'm moving in now. <laughs> I can't. Sauce. It's you know, a lot of sauce. Guys, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm probably one of the guys who are against what he's doing. I mean, we know his father to be a legend. Yeah. And for him to take the account and do that, I mean, I was going to give it to him if he took the account and tried to follow up with his dad and do good things or do charity stuff and then yeah. post them on his father's account and what he's doing. You know, I mean, that he can do for himself at home without cameras. Absolutely. But yeah, at the same time, I mean... If you, if you don't know me, now, you, do now you know what, me? You know what I, mean? I don't know. I see what, what are ways. your thoughts? I see it two ways. I see, I, I agree uh, to a certain extent, but he's also a, te he's a young, he's a young boy. He's a teenager. He's yeah. living his best life. And also, <clears throat> the same people who are probably upset, they watch all of the other nonsense <laughs> on Instagram that other international people do. So let's not You're right. yeah. downplay our local boy just play. because he's doing the same thing. Okay, that's, yeah. I'll, ta I'll take that, I'll mm. take that. I was very mad at him mm. um, until I heard that He's just having fun, guys, yeah. he's having fun. He's gonna yeah. grow up, he's gonna, you don't know what he's gonna well, we mature hope he into, grows up. you know what I'm saying? Well, we hope, we hope we've all been there. Senses. I didn't even know that his dad had so many cars. Well, I know. So, you know. Well, now you yeah, know. Yeah, you know, he was never a bread. Yeah, like, he, like yeah. you said, now you know. Yeah. In an interview this week, he said that his mother's aware of this, um, of his Instagram takeover, and she's fine with it. And the boy's only 17, so he obviously cannot be actually spending his father's money already. <laughs> so if his family is aware of it and uh, the outrage on social media, is that justified? But is he ruining his father's legacy by posting these flashy videos? Well, tell us what you think. Um, let us know on social media. If you think Robbie Malinga Jr. should have this account taken away or suspended or be left to live his best life. <laughs> now stay right where you are because after the break we've got a live performance by Zion, yeah. house producer and former member of Liquid Deep.
Sausage in the bottle, yeah, yeah. Watch me float upstream. I'll be that swallowed key to your safe, yeah. Locking away everything. Said I'll keep all your secrets. So lay your burdens down, down, down. I'll keep all your secrets. So let's turn that frown upside down. I think we could stop. Whether you're a pro chef or the designated cook in your home, this baby is about to change your life. Glad Baking Cooking Paper has a specially designed nonstick coating on it, which means no extra oils and fats are needed, and it also means it turns all your old cookware nonstick. So basically that means you fry directly on the paper. So when you put it in the pan, put it in the heat, and start frying. No oil, no butter, that means no splatter, and that's healthier. Another reason is my go-to product, because it can be used in the oven as well, with standing temperatures of up to 230 degrees Celsius. And just like that, the meal is done. And because we use that glad bacon cooking paper, cleanup is gonna be an absolute breeze. Now, all we need to do is just garnish, a little bit of seasoning. Voila. Welcome back. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. His career started with Liquid Deep, one of the biggest dance music acts to ever come out of South Africa. And since going solo, his career is still going strong. And here he is to perform Secrets from his self-titled EP. Take it away. Thank you so much. in the bottle yeah, yeah yeah watch me float upstream i'll be that swallowed key to your safe yeah <laughs> locking away everything yeah i'll keep all your secrets so let
Did you, you, you had our entire loft on their knees with that performance. I'm coming, I'm coming, <laughs> You I'm finally coming. made your I'm way. here, I'm here, I'm here. Yo. Congratulations, Thank that was so beautiful. Much. What's Thank that so track much. about? What inspired it? Uh, man, I, that track literally came, yeah. I was just walking and that track came. It, it, it happens that way. You just walk and tracks so, come? Okay. Yeah, sometimes I'll just walk. Okay, and I it, stand. <laughs> <laughs> literally, that's, that's why I talk about being open. Yeah. There are some there are some tracks where I, I, I literally can't, rem I can't remember how it all came about. And that's what I mean by sometimes you just download. download. It just comes. You don't even know. So that this one, it just the words just came. It started with chords. The words just came. And I realized maybe it's something that I needed to hear for myself, you know, yes, maybe, you know, absolutely. At, in the end, you know, you know, uh, there's someone out there who will protect you and keep your secrets and won't judge you. Yeah. And you can turn that frown yeah. upside down, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. live the life that you want. Today. Well, thank you for being generous enough to not keep it to yourself. That yeah. was absolutely a beautiful <laughs> thank song. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. And to you at home, guys, thank you so much for joining us in the loft today for a nostalgic afternoon with fuzzy warm feelings i hope they carry on this weekend enjoy your weekend we'll see you on monday same time same place thank you for joining us god bless Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel good production. Put only the mic. Yeah.